Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We thank you, Lord, this morning. We give you thanks for this word that you have given us, Lord. We thank you for the gift of life, Lord. We thank you for this word of correction, Lord. Oh, Lord, we honor you, we praise you, we worship you. Lord, help us to understand this word. Give us a contrite heart each, Lord, that we shall search in our hearts and know where we are going wrong, Lord. We give you glory and honor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. It's in Jesus' name that we have prayed and believed. Amen. So two nights ago, the Lord took me to, put me in a class, and uh, it was an intensive class. In fact, what I'm going to say here, I'm just going to read the basics that he gave me, but uh, the rest of the word I'll share on uh, our episode of Living, which we do a live stream. And so I'll read, and in between I'll break to read the scriptures that he gave me for each word. So the Lord t began to tell me that uh, people, his people are using their hands wrongly. Many sins are committed by, by the hands. That hands on, by themselves cannot commit a sin or cannot do anything wrong unless they are propelled by the human, the person himself. And so he told me we should not defile our hands for they are made to do beneficial work just like the mouth. When you work, you should, you should as though working unto the Lord. So why should you put your hands to filthy work? And at this, he gave me a vision of a person masturbating vigorously. And he asked me, is that beneficial? Is that, can he do that in public? And with that, he gave me scripture uh, in, in Colossians, Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 and 24. And it reads, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Verse 24 says that, uh, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Christ you are serving. So he asked me again, are those works rewardable about the vision of the masturbating person? And I continue with what he told me. Before embarking to do any, something, always consider its benefit. First, is it pleasing to God? Is it beneficial to you? Is it beneficial for others? Is it building others? Each person is created to be productive, to build, not to tear down. Building is, is doing the good work while staring is doing the works of darkness. And he said at this, the cross of Jesus has the power to deliver us from every sin. As he showed me a, the, the, a, a vision, a cross in a vision. He said, never allow your hands to do in private what you cannot use them for in public. Sin committed by hands is serious because hands on their own cannot sin without being used. So we should learn to consec consecrate our hands to God. Hands just like the mouth are to be used for blessings. The laying on of hands, the speaking of blessings, gestures, they are to comfort and to heal, not to wound. Hands should be used to worship God, not to build idols. So he asked me, how do you do dirty things with your hands and then at the same time raise them up to worship him? Because that's one of the most important things that the Lord created hands for, for his worship. Aside from doing the works that build, the works that he shall bless you through. Not using hands, he told me, to work unto God is sin. Each individual is created to work. Then I asked the Lord, how about those who cannot find jobs? Because in my country, that's a, a, a problem. He replied, they can serve free and he will provide for them. God blesses the work of our hands. He said he blesses the work of our hands. And whatever you get to do, do it wholeheartedly as if doing to him. He gave me an example of a person sweeping uh, beside the road, not, not necessarily being sent by somebody or employed by, uh, by a city place, but just doing it out of his volition. So he said he blesses the work of our hands. And uh, he, who, who, then he told me, he who has clean hands and a pure heart are the only ones who will be lifted up to, the, to, to his mountain. And he reminded me, uh, of uh, the, psalm, the scripture in Psalm 24, Psalm chapter 24, verse 24, and I'll just read it. Psalm chapter 24, verse 24 says, it says, the one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in 
an idol or swear by a false god. Hands are very, very crucial. He was many, well, the, 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 the scripture before that is asking who can ascend the, the hill of the, the Lord. And then the Lord also gave me an, he, he gave me understanding that he, he, even him, he uses his hands. What, what has he used his hands for? Great things. And I read from Psalm 19 verse 1. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Hands are crucial, brethren. Hands are really crucial. God does not expect us to use our hands doing things that are not good. He showed me people texting, using the hands to text, uh, provocative messages, people forwarding messages that they come across, some which are even kind of mockery to God, but people just keep on uh, sharing them. They don't consider what they are doing. And the scripture in Psalm 90, 17 says, May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Now, what what are your hands doing? What work are your hands doing in private? Are they works that you would want the Lord to establish? Are they works that you would want the Lord to bless? God gave me an, a, a very intense lecture on hands. He said hands, hands, because of hands, many fail. Many will fall because of what they do with their hands, doing things that are not necessary, forwarding things that are not necessary, not considering what they put their hands to, making gestures that are, are not good, are not pleasing in the, in the Lord's eyes. May you consider the work of the, your hands if you want them to be established and blessed by the Lord. He does not want to be... To, to, to be, to be praised by hands which do dirty things in private and then in public they praise him. No, he does not desire to, do, to, to have that. May you find it in yourself to be careful, to consider what you, you want to do with your hands when, before you do anything with your hands. That's my prayer for all of us. In Jesus' name, amen.